I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. All right. Let's give this new setup a shot. Hello guys, where are you? David DeFranco here from davidthefranco.com with my first video ever recorded in my somewhat new setup. I mean, I've done this before, but from a different angle, but behind me is pretty much completely new. As you can see, I started to add my Amiibo to my brand new corner bookshelf. I know I'm not using it for books. Now, there is one very important thing to keep in mind before we get into the unboxing of my iPad Mini 4, which I'm extremely excited for because I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of the iPad Mini. Just please keep in mind, the audio of this video is not gonna sound that great, simply because, well, clearly, this new office of mine is still a work in progress. So, bear with me and just be patient if possible, please. Anyway, Getting into the best parts of this video, obviously, the point of this video, my unboxing of the iPad Mini 4, I went with 64 gigabytes Wi-Fi. No more of that 16 gigabyte crap. I learned my lesson with the iPad Mini 3. I was constantly running out of space, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, nope, no more, 64 gig it is. And yes, I did indeed go with gold again because for two reasons, number one, I really enjoyed it on my iPad Mini 3. And reason number two, my iPhone 6S, which is also 64 gigabyte, will be in gold as well. So gold matching gold, 64 gigabyte, 64 gigabyte, white front, white front, gold back, gold back. Those two are gonna look awesome together. All right, so this is really exciting to me because I love the iPad Mini. And while unfortunately, Apple pretty much ignored the iPad mini this time last year. It got uh, the addition of Touch ID and obviously the gold option, and that was it. Boom, no spec updates, nothing. But the iPad mini 4 basically has the specs of the iPad Air 2 minus the A8X chip. Instead, it just has a regular A8 chip. But you know what? That's fine with me. That does not disappoint me whatsoever because no matter how you look at this device, it's gonna be so much faster than the iPad mini 3 was. And apparently the color gamut, in other words, the color saturation and all that stuff, looks a lot better. Okay, so taking out the iPad mini 4, is it just me or are they using different plastic? Huh, very interesting. Oh wow, it's definitely lighter than the iPad mini uh, 3. I'm, I'm assuming it's what, like, 13% thinner or something like that. Just go to apple.com slash iPad mini. But yes, you can definitely notice a difference in the weight. That's actually pretty impressive. All right, as usual, you get the design by Apple in California booklet, which will be going right back in here because I'll be selling this next year for the iPad mini five, assuming we get one. Lightning cable and included power brick. Boom, boom. Boom, going right back into the box because it really helps with the resale value because I sold my iPad mini three for exactly $300. And I think that was in thanks to the lightning cable being brand new, power adapter being brand new, both never used once. And I included the Poetic Slimline case in red, but I did keep my Poetic Slimline case in black. All right, the best part, guys, I'm telling you, the plastic is definitely different. Here we go. Oh, that's nice, that's really nice. And now the front. Noisy. And there it is, the iPad mini 4. Oh, it's so nice to have an iPad in my life again. Guys, I'm telling you, this past week or so without my iPad mini, it just hasn't been the same. Because guys, I am just so used to having my iPad mini next to me in bed. As awkward and as weird as that sounds, I love having my iPad mini in bed with me to, to just check email, check social media, because my iPhone charges in a different room. But good, there you go. The iPad mini 4 is pretty much identical on the outside. I don't know if the bezel's bigger or not. It might be. It definitely looks a little bigger. The side, you get the volume buttons. And you do not get, wow, you do not get the orientation or silence switch. 
That's very interesting because I definitely had that on the iPad Mini 3. I guess Apple wants you doing that through software because I believe the iPad Air 2 does not have that as well. So they're pretty much mimicking the iPad Air 2, but in uh, obviously a much, much smaller form factor. Up top, we have a sleep wake button. And on the back, we do have an upgraded EyeSight camera. And on the front, we have an upgraded FaceTime HD camera, which is definitely nice. And Touch ID apparently is two times as fast as it previously was. So that's always nice. So let's boot up the iPad Mini 4 for the first time. Boom, there you go. Now, obviously, I'm not gonna do an entire setup process because you guys should already know by now what the setup process is like on any iOS device. It's pretty much gonna be the same as it has been for a while now. But with that said, of course, I will be talking about this in many future videos, including my weekend vlog. So be sure to watch my weekend vlog, which starts tomorrow. So, hello. Ooh, wow. The home button is softer. It's not, it's not as clicky. So there we go, setting it up. You can go to English. I don't know, you can't even see that. United States. Choose a Wi-Fi network to Franken Media. Damn, this is definitely a lot lighter. All right, anyway, I will set this up as soon as I shut the video down. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Oh, does this have iOS 9 pre-installed? Because the keyboard is lowercase, which is the same as my iPhone 5S now. So that's definitely nice, because I heard a rumor like maybe you would have to update from iOS 8 to 9, but this seems to have iOS 9 pre-installed, which is obviously a good thing. So guys, let me know, are there any videos you wanna see on this, such as the color gamut, because that's definitely a big plus coming from the iPad Mini 3. Uh, Touch ID, specs, FaceTime HD camera, eyesight camera, anything, let me know. Comment right below. And of course, don't forget to like this video. It means a lot to me. And yes, ratings do work. You cannot see the ratings numbers, but they do work. So feel free to like or dislike this video. But guys, anyway, I could talk all day. I just want to play with this thing. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have an awesome weekend. And I will see you on Monday in the weekend vloggity vlog. Peace.